Natural law is the idea that the laws of our society should mirror human nature. A lot of our institutions, our governments, our markets and things are based on this notion of natural law that came up in the 1700s. And the natural law they're referring to is that humans are basically competing all the time in fighting. But that's not who I am and I don't think that's who you are either. My inspiration is a whole series of situations that didn't work very well. Schools that didn't work very well, organizations that didn't work very well, and disappointment with government in general. And I just think there has to be a better way. It was clear that the digital ecology, the digital society, wasn't turning out the way people hoped. You should have the same rights and obligations in your digital self as you have in your physical self. You should control information about you, who gets it and what they do with it. You shouldn't stand naked in the digital you know, spotlight in order to be able to get something done. And so I began thinking about this and realized that the problem was is that the basic model of what is a human was wrong. Well, as anthropologists that are studying early human society and, and what they find doesn't match with uh, natural law of the 1700s. Now we know that early humans were actually uh, very egalitarian. Human nature is to do trading and interaction with trusted others. We should make the social networks that we're building mirror the way humans like to operate and how we operate best. And it's not open competition. It's through trusted networks. If you can trust people and you know that this is, this is a safe relationship because it has all these other relationships, it turns out to be more optimal. So the core thing in a trust network is that you own your data, it's private, and you only share it when you're gonna get something back for it. At our NGO, ID Cube, we've actually built the software and built the legal contracts to do this. Currently, the only people that have these trust networks are the big guys, the banks, the hospitals, things like that. And what we're doing is making them available to the little guy. But what that's going to do is it means the big guys are not gonna have as much power as they used to have. So what I'm trying to do is think about how can we make a new digital society that really works for humans? You know, that's fair, that's safe, that's efficient the scales, it's inclusive. So how feasible is it in time scale? And the answer is, it could happen very quickly. You have the old banks, the old institutions, tottering along based on their ownership of the data. And when you get a competitor that gives people back their data but is just as efficient, it could happen almost overnight.